Ladies and gentlemen, the future is not the past. That's why we have to invite this young generation to come here to see what high performance is, but to learn also what athletics has as a value in total. We are sport which gives a lot of social integration, gives a lot to all generations, to all age groups, gives a lot to health and also well-being. We are a sport who serve outstanding way. Sports events can provide a starting point and act as boosters and catalysts for positive change. They can empower those who have been overlooked or marginalised. The history of sports legends and sporting moments is rich with world-changing events and people. The Young Leaders uh, Forum is uh, for Youth Athletics uh, a very important event uh, and then we could build up the, the format and the model now, uh, six years later, we are here in uh, Helsinki. I think we young leaders are the future and uh, we can make a change into the next 10 or 20 years if we just make the step. I think it's important to have developed young leaders because we're the future of the sport. We're going to be moving up um, with the next generation. We need to know what we're doing. We need to know that our passion for it is recognised and that we're just as important. My name is Oskari Rohian and I'm, I'm uh, coaching Kisakallia and today we take, took these young leaders down here to the beach and we had some group exercises. <laughs> we had to make a map out of each country so we all stood where our country is in Europe and then we had to tell each other a fact about our country. I think it's a great activity to bring all of us participants together. We come from all around Europe, most of us we don't know each other. These group exercises help people from different countries to learn something about each other. So what we're planning to do over the next few days is give the young leaders a practical understanding about how they can develop community projects. And this will be done through plenary sessions and workshop sessions. This is a display I prepared so the other leaders can see what we have done in Romania for the children in schools and high schools to promote sports. Hello, my name is Ramo. I'm from Tallinn, Estonia. Uh, I made a little stand here. It's uh, Estonian stadiums. Then we have international competitions, then national competitions. And we, ha we are having a little show off what we have. But it, you have to work it. You have to find a network for that where to go. It doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of money for that. You have to be clever and put your shoes in every place and open your mouth when you have a chance to do that. It's very important to see that we live in an ever-changing society where we are <coughs> faced with challenges. These challenges are of magnitude and all are different. Second day has been quite amazing. We got to carry the flags at the opening ceremony. Then we had some good group discussions and presentations. Uh, each country has a different wheel level, so that means that people and citizens in the country have uh, different needs. When you say better, you have to qualify that. What do you mean by better? You mean that... More interesting for athletics. <laughs> but but that's, that's something that's subjective. Yeah. Um, it's been the second day working in our groups. We're all getting to know each other now. The first step of our project is to educate the, the, me and the other yeah. three or four girls. Mm -hmm. And then we can just foc focalize it as you see. Everyone in the group has the same uh, aims and uh, goals with, uh, with the project. We are very different, but we found a common ground and got along in the end. Now Christian just said, when I got world champion, the club got immediately 50 new pole vaulters that day. So everybody called up, hey, we want to go pole vaulting, and the club didn't have the facilities or the possibilities to, to get them into the club and teach them how to pole vault. Because I think even from every position that you stand, and I stand here as still feeling elite athlete, always looking from that perspective, you need it. And so keep on doing that good work. And then they realize, my God, by trying to be like everybody else, we are actually losing everything.
They went back to beg their, their coach in, in, in Germany to take them back. He took them back. Two years later, they are champions of Europe. I was really, really impressed with these young people. Uh, they're going to do a fantastic job for the communities, and I think we've gave them a, a helping hand in doing that. The Young Leader Forum was great because we communicate with people with our countries, other cultures, so we take new ideas and giving you new ideas, so it was amazing. And there has been like many talks about women, young leaders, uh, but I think that it will come naturally. It's important with young leaders because uh, with new people there are new ideas uh, all the time. Overall I've been completely blown away by, by this whole experience. Um, I had no insight into what was going on around in other countries and it's just been so inspirational to see what people are doing, what these young leaders that I've met here are doing in their own countries and it really has inspired me as to what I can do when I go back to Ireland. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah.